Psalm 95. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. Let us shout joyfully to him with psalms. For the Lord is the great God and the great King above all gods. In his hands are the deep places of the earth. The heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands form the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker, for he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you will hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as in the rebellion, as in the day of trial in the wilderness when your fathers tested me. They tried me though they saw my work. For 40 years I was grieved with that generation and said, it is a people who go astray in their hearts and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter my rest. Psalm 95. is God? Well, have you read the Bible today? The answer to our questions about God and more are found there in the Bible. Now, the King James translation asks 3,294 questions and the remaining 3,566,480 characters, along with the 31,173 verses the 6,468 commands and the 1,189 chapters that are combined into the 66 books written by 40 authors over 1,500 years can answer all of our questions. You see, God does use experience to teach us, but he complements our experience with his word so that our learning becomes deeper it becomes more meaningful as we study what God has said in the Bible. The Psalms tells us that God's word speaks the truth. We should remember that, that God speaks to us clearly, that through his answers and questions, they don't generally come back in a one quick swipe to answer everything, but instead are often veiled as we learn of him and learn what he did. The stories that the Bible tells are fascinating and they're amazing. And as we begin to think this through and understand what the Bible says, we need to understand that when we learn who God is by listening to him, that we learn much about the Lord and about the way that he speaks to us. So if you have your Bible guide on this first day of June, it's a great, great month to be uh, in the Bible. Turn to the first page because this is interesting. The first page says, listening to God. Now, if you don't have a Bible guide, I want to encourage you to write for yours. The address is at the bottom of the screen. And what you need to do is simply use that address and write it down and write to us and uh, we'll be happy to send it to you. I would simply ask that you would consider giving something because that's what keeps the lights going and everything happening here. That's the only way we're supported. So thank you for doing that. Also, you can use the phone numbers and call us, or you can go to BibleDiscoveryTV.com and uh, click on uh, donate there and it'll uh, take you to a donate page. You can make a donation. And then what you can do is it'll take you to the PDF file so you can see the guide. Very important. You can also just give to us if you want to. Praise God. Pray about it. Ask what he would have you do. We trust the work of the Holy Spirit in you. Listening to God, Psalm 95. Father, I pray today that in the name of Jesus Christ, as we read from the Psalm and listen to what you've said to us, help us to understand who you are and help us to realize that you are the one who created everything. In the name of Jesus Christ and by the power of the Holy Spirit, I pray these things, amen. As we begin to search the scripture, we learn something about God. Watch this. This is Psalm 95, verses 1 through 5. Now, it says, O oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Isn't that interesting? The first thing we're commanded to do is sing to the Lord. Don't just pray to him. 
sing to him. Oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. I love that. The rock of our salvation, the stronghold of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. Really? Yes, we're commanded to come into his presence, thanking him. Let us shout joyfully to him with psalms. So we're supposed to memorize these psalms and, and understand them and, and bring them to the Lord. For the Lord is the great God and the king above all gods. In his hand, we are the deep places of the earth. In his hand, we are the deep place. Are you serious? Absolutely. The heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. So here in Psalm 95, we learn something fascinating. God created everything. That's everything. And the Mother Nature didn't create it. God created it. We should praise him for that. Have you praised the Lord today? A lot of people haven't. You know, they've talked about what they need or what they want or, or what they have to have. Or, but just praise the Lord for what he's already given you. If you've accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and said, Father, come into my life. Jesus, come into my life. I believe that you died on the cross and rose again. And I, I'm going to give my life to you. You will receive eternal life. That's amazing. Absolutely stunning. We come into his presence with thanksgiving and we quote to him psalms. We pray the psalms to him. We sing the psalms to him. You know, Psalm 1 is a great one. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of the sinner, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, but his delight will be on the law of the Lord. And on the law does he meditate day and night. I could go on, but the point is that we learn to praise God when we internalize the Psalms. That's very important. Psalm 95, six through eight says this, O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker. We kneel before God, our creator, for he is our God. And we are the people of his pasture. We are the sheep of his hand today, if you will hear his voice. Do not harden your hearts as in the day of rebellion, as in the day of trial in the wilderness. Don't do it. Don't become hard. You see, how are you going to hear God if you become hard? Because God speaks to us. We should hear him and we should obey his word. Now, a lot of people say, well, God doesn't talk to me. And a lot of times it's because we, you know, we're not listening. <laughs> we need to listen. We need to tune our spirits and tune ourselves to listen to the Lord. Do you listen to God when you pray, when you read the Bible? Are you listening to the Lord? What, what's happening now? Because there's a lot of things happening right now. We're in the end of time. This is interesting. All right. We have to remember that, beloved. We have to know that. Very important. Now let's read the last part of this because this gets interesting. 95, nine through 11. When your fathers tested me, God says, they tried me though they saw my work. For 40 years, I was grieved with that generation and said, it is a people who go astray in their hearts. They do not know my ways, even though God was showing to them the whole time. So I swore in my wrath, God's wrath, yes, they shall not enter my rest. Fascinating. Very interesting. Some hear God, but they do not listen to the Lord. We should know God and his ways. Now, keep this in mind. As we continue and we, we begin to study the word of God and we take the Psalms, the Psalms gives us the ability to navigate through, gives us the ability to see what God is doing and to understand him. And it's going to take some time. You don't just, you know, all of a sudden you just know God. Well, you know God because God knows you, but you have to learn about the Lord and you learn about the Lord by reading his word, what he communicated. God speaks to us, beloved. And when God speaks, we need to listen. 
So when we come to God to pray, a lot of times we come and always in need. You ever notice that? Everybody's always in need. But how about just coming to the Lord and just praising his name one day? Just saying, thank you, Lord. I'm just here to praise you. I don't know. I don't, I don't want to talk about what I need. You know everything I need, but I just want to praise your name. I want to thank you for all you did. Now, that's an amazing thing to do when you pray to God. So with that in mind, we come to this idea. We say, Lord, help me to learn to trust in you as I read and study your word. Read and study your word. Help me to know you. Help me to understand you because I have to learn exactly what, what you're like and what's going on. You already know me inside and out, but I have to learn what this means to trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, my God, who became Lord of my life. I think that's very important. And beloved, as we continue and as we think this through in reading the scripture, we learn from Psalms today that the book tells us, the Psalms, the book of Psalms, 150 chapters, tells us things to pray. So again, I come back to this idea. Have you prayed the Psalms? I want to encourage you. This is a good day to get out the Bible and to begin to pray the Psalms of the Lord. <music>